Hi, Roxy. Hello. Congratulations on the victory. Um, I can't help but notice you were limping a little bit early. Do we have an injury? No, I just overworked my body, and I'll feel fine later. Okay, cool. Um, give us your thoughts on your performance. How do you feel it went in there? And, and it was a close fight, but you came away with the judge's decision. How do you feel it went? That was a tough fight, um, great fight. I'm really proud of myself and my performance. Um, I did a little bit of everything that we've been training in this fight camp, so I'm stoked. You know, I've been working a lot with you know John Wood, Mike Pyle, um, my trainer Lorenzo, also Guns, Johnny, the Monkey King. So I'm, I'm really excited about all that I've been doing. Is that possibly the best outcome you can have as a fighter, preparing for these weeks for certain things and then being able to do them in the cage? Is that it's, you know, obviously everyone wants a quick finish, but if you can't get that, is the best thing to know like well I trained for that and I did it. It really is the best feeling, especially for me as a martial artist. That's my motivation to go to the gym every day, is to make these improvements and then do them in, in live competition. Um, when it went to the judge's decision, I think there's a couple of people scoring it either way online. How did you personally feel? Did you feel you'd done enough to, to win the fight? I had a good feeling about it. Uh, I'm kind of a, a crappy judge of fights myself. Um, I know that she got some strikes in. Uh, of ground and pound, you know, in the beginning. So I wasn't going to assume that I won the fight. You never know these days. But I had a good feeling about it. Cool. Um, what's next for you? I mean, uh, we see a lot of people being very active. We see a lot of people being unable to be very active. You know, obviously you're based locally. Do, do you want to keep rolling? Do you want to just keep getting these victories up? Do you want to fight again before the end of the year? Um, man, I'll, I'm will i just going to keep training, you know, keep improving. If they call me, I'll fight. Uh, it's not up to me, but I shall be ready. Cool. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, they fought before, you know, they've seen each other, you know, they'll, they'll know what to expect. But I think even you and others have said about that was so long ago that both of you have grown a lot since then. Um, about when you go back and you think about that fight and you think about tonight, how different was it for you? And did you see some growth in areas for her? And what about yourself? What really did you think that you got to show tonight that maybe you wanted the last fight? Funny enough, I've been making... I've been trying to change like little things and improve my game. And then um, I think in my last fight, I was thinking too hard about certain things. So then when I went back and I watched the, my, our old fight, my coach was like, go back and do all that that you did five <laughs> years ago. So I tried to like reset myself back to the moves that won me that last fight. And I think I kind of didn't go backwards, but I tried to go back to that style that won me that last fight while keeping my improvements. Yeah, definitely. The striking, I think back then everybody would think that you would rush to try to get to the ground, but you looked very comfortable in there wanting to stand up and, and, and throw shots today. It, it feels like you've almost really encapsulated and embracing the fact that you are a striker now as well. You even had uh, Bisping on there saying how well your striking was looking Ooh. as well. So, Gee, thank you, Mr. Bisping. But you got to feel proud about the fact that how your game has graduated now and people are considering you a striker now. Yeah, that's, that's really exciting for me. Awesome. I um, did want to take it to the ground, but I didn't want to rush things because she'd be ready for that. You know, I kept slipping too. But that that was not fun. When you <laughs> did get to the ground, though, she actually put up a pretty good fight as well, controlling, the, and it was a nice little battle back and forth. Did you enjoy that time on the ground? That sort of battle where you get to showcase some of that skills and against an equal opponent. I feel no emotions during the fight, like a Jedi would, you know, no emotions in the fight. Um, so I can't say I actually felt enjoyment out of that, but looking back, um, it was a scramble and, you know, I would have liked to dominate and get the finish, but I was impressed with her performance. You know, it's great for her. Now, looking on the paper for the UFC, she was ranked one behind you, I believe. And, but do you think a performance like this still can maybe propel you forward, or do you think that you stay the same in the rankings, or does that even matter? Propel me forward, baby. <laughs> I don't get to choose these things, but I think I deserve many bumps upwards. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Back here. Uh, to your far left. There you go. Um, Michael Bisping said that after 43 fights, you were still getting it done, and he 46. called you 46. He called you an inspiration. Oh. How do you feel at hearing that from someone like Michael Bisping? And is that something that is important to you right now? That's really cool. I'm honored that he would say that. Um, I mean, 46, 47. This is my 47th counting the Ultimate Fighter, which you're not supposed to count the. Um, exhibition fights, but I do. Um, yeah, that's so cool. You know, I, I really try to evolve and I get, you know, fans telling me that I'm inspiration and um, I'm trying to be a good example. And yeah, thank you. That's, that's cool. 
you have a lot of uh, experience and another one of uh, your colleagues, Ed Herman, he started it, his first fight was in 03 and, and as yours. And uh, tell us about this journey from th there to here. It's, it's been, what, 17 years? Yeah, it has. You know, I think I've, uh, it's just been, you know, a roller coaster ride of, you know, wins, losses, evolution. I probably forgot more techniques, you know, than uh, some of my friends have learned, you know, just over the years. Um, that's so cool to see, you know, veterans or, you know, people with so much experience like me still fighting. I always root for them. You know, Ed, I think, fought just before me, and then Overeem has a lot of experience. It's exciting. You mentioned you look at yourself as, as your mindset as a Jedi. Did you always have that in the beginning, or has this been a, a you know, an evolution in, in your career? Uh, I forget when exactly I started thinking of myself like that, <laughs> but it suits me, I think. And during the pandemic, what, what have you been, uh, what have you been doing? What have you been doing during this time besides training? Training in the park, park jitsu, park Thai. You know, my friends, I dragged my mat out to the grass and people's garages and then, you know, um, just tried to train. Playing piano as well, in, in, in addition to training. Um, I learned a little bit as a kid and I wanted to continue to, you know, uh, study music, so I've been playing the piano. I've been writing my third book, Memoirs of a Happy Warrior Two. So um, maybe I'll try to finish that if I can. What song are you learning? What's what song uh, on the piano? Oh man, I'm I'm hardcore. I want to learn how to read the notes, like my mom can. So I want to be able to look at the notes and just read them and play. So I'm not gonna. I want to be you know, do it right. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Roxanne, I meant to ask about weighing. Uh, you went the one piece route. Um, was there any sort of inspiration or decision why you chose that particular character? Yes, Luffy. He is so simple-minded and inspirational to me because he sees a problem and is like, we're just going to beat up this guy and the problem's going to be solved. But his friends are like, oh, no, it's, it's all this complicatedness. And it's like, no, if really, if you be beat this guy up, the problem will be solved. So I like how he just goes about his goal like as hard as he can, and he doesn't always win his fights. He sometimes loses his fights, and gets carried away, you know, bloodied, and then trains and comes back and beats the next guy. So that's inspirational too, just his, his um, moral character. You know, he's like, this is the right thing to do, I'm gonna do this, you know, just because it's morally correct. And also, you know, the fact that he trains hard and gets stronger and beats up the bad guys. That's awesome, because I know we've seen you do the Dragon Ball Z and the Goku, so every character that you choose has something, uh, in, a, in a sense, a fighting inspiration for you? Yes, exactly. Awesome. Thank you very much.